one, you're just in time. We need some help catching sweet. <laughs> We're playing tag, but no one can ever tag sweet. He's just too fast. <laughs> but not this time. Stand back, everyone. I'll get him. Emma, my rocket boots zigged when they should have zagged. And my wheel's fast, but just not fast enough to catch him. And I almost had him, but I just couldn't grab him. I bet if we put our heads together, we can think up a plan to outsmart that mouse. Well, if I had a speedier wheel, I could catch him no problem. And if my rocket boots could turn better, I'd be the tag champ. And if I had some kind of magnet power, I'd have caught that metallic mouse first. Hey, we're robots, right? Maybe we could get special upgrades. You mean we could get fixed up so we could do things better? Yes, things like catching really fast mice. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place we can go to get new upgrades so we can catch Sweet. He's one motoring mouse, isn't he? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The sports planet would be a great place to go. But after we get all fixed up. <laughs> Not the stinky foot planet. No one wants to go there. <laughs> EU! Oh, now that looks like a place where we can get ourselves fixed up. Yay! Yes, that's the tune-up planet. Excellent place for robots to get upgraded. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Turn us into super robots. Squeak won't stand a chance. Ha ha! Wait a minute. Why do you want to change yourselves? We can find other ways to catch Squeak. I suppose we could, but. This is more fun! Yeah! But. the upgrade I want. With those new fins, I'll be able to zig and zag at the same time. But you fly great with your boots now, Rob. I'm not sure... Look! I can get magnet arms! Those will help me round up our metal mouse. I guess that's neat. But what's wrong with the arms you have? Those are magnet arms, Emma. Ooh! Aha! A Turbo 5000 wheel! I can upgrade my wheel to one of those. But you're really fast now, TK. But this will make me even faster. But I still don't see why you're not happy with the way you are. 
Upgrades are a robot thing, Emma. Maybe you don't understand because you're not a robot. <sighs> well, I guess if it makes you happy. But don't worry, Emma. It will be fun. Let's go! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Just push the button! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Sounds like getting upgrades tickles. Control? <laughs> I am the Magnet Man. Check him out, TK. Take a closer look. because I think I figured out a way to catch Squeak without them. Why, Emma? Now we can outrun him, outmaneuver him, and magnetically stop him in his tiny tracks. Oh, there he is! Get that mouse! Try hard. Shouldn't we try to be smarter? What do you mean, Emma? I'm not sure that your upgrades are such a great idea. I'm afraid you're gonna end up hurting. I'm on it. Leave it to me. To yourselves. You can't outmaneuver me now. Wow! What cornering! may have damaged your fins. Well, that won't stop me from catching him this time. <laughs> Maybe it will. Don't worry, Rob. I'm on it. I'm going full speed this time. <laughs> made you better. They just made you different. Emma's right. Even with our upgrades, we couldn't catch Squeak. I liked you all just the way you were. I guess we'll just never be able to tag Squeak. Like I was trying to say before, I think I might know a way. Would you like some cheese, Squeak? Huh? I'm glad you like it, Squeak. Oh, and by the way, you're it! <laughs> no matter how fast he is, he will always come for a bit of cheese. Okay, let's get rid of these upgrades. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? 
Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we could never catch Squeak when we played tag, so we went to the tune-up planet to get upgrades to help us catch him. Our new upgrades made us faster and able to turn quicker and suck things up. But they didn't help us catch Squeak at all. We learned that changing didn't make us better, just different. And that a good way to catch a mouse is with a nice piece of cheese. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for a countdown. made of rubber. These must be toys. Rob, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for 
for dogs, not space cats or robots. Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. <laughs> Funny, but I don't think Violet wants a fish bowl or fish food. Closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! Whoa! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer. TK! 
Okay. Hurry! Please! Aha! This boat is perfect! <laughs> I'd say that's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Yeah. <laughs> well, we needed to find what Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet there was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. And all pets need lots of love too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Pet Shop Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We've got space mail. Look, it's for me, an invitation. To what, a picnic? I love yummy picnics. Oops, I'm hungry. Even better, it's an invitation for the Great Galactic Cook-Off. Only, it's tomorrow. That doesn't give you much time to come up with a dish. I need to find my recipe book, quick. <gasps> Oh, my chef's hat. Wow, there are so many awesome recipes in here. Too many. How am I going to choose? Don't worry, we'll help you. We can even help with the cooking. And we can help with the tasting. You guys are the best. Okay, first we need some fresh ingredients to inspire me to come up with an amazing dish. We can stop at the Galaxy Grocery. Yeah! But that's all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. The sooner we find food, the sooner we can cook <gasps> and eat. <laughs> yeah! And that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to find some fresh ingredients to cook up the galaxy's greatest meal. What a delicious mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. I love the soccer planet, but I'm way too hungry to play right now. Stinky fun planet? Ew! No way we're cooking with stinky toe jam. Now that's a yummy looking planet. The food planet. Delicious choice. Now get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
planet. Wonders, the fantabulous Foodomatic machine. Foodomatic machine? The Foodomatic machine? I can't believe it! Uh, what's the Foodomatic machine? It's only the most amazing cooking invention ever. The Foodomatic can cook any dish in the galaxy right here. We don't even need a recipe. We simply add ingredients and the Foodomatic will do the rest. But what kind of meal should we make? Ah, I know. We'll make Rob surprise. I'll eat some strawberries, a pinch of pineapple, a squeeze of squash, oh, and some spaghetti. Can't forget that. Mm, all this talk of food is making me even hungrier. Well, I can fix that. So now what? I don't know. Maybe we push another button, or say please, or uh. uh... Ah! 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 What's wrong with that thing? I don't know. Introducing Rob's Surprise, also known as Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs. Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs? Ew. Hmm. Wow, I'm stuffed. I ate so much my tummy trunk is full. Mm, it was mm, mm good. Emma, you haven't even touched your food yet. Was something wrong with your dish? Well, it, uh, it's too yucky. I can't eat it. It looks yucky and sounds yucky, so it must taste yucky. How do you know when you haven't even tried it? Because the ingredients in Rob's surprise don't go together. It can't possibly taste good. But Emma, it did taste good. Oh, I don't believe that for one robo second. <sighs> If we want to win, we'll need to make a simple, normal dish. One everyone will love. But we're running out of time. The cook-off is tomorrow. Wait! I know! Guys, help me put some apples and bananas in the machine. I'll tell you yeah. when to stop. Um... Okay. Oh! How about a little eggplant, Emma? Eggplant and apples, Rob? Eggplant is delicious! Trust me, Rob, it's yucky! Now let me handle this. I'm the chef! Hmm. You're supposed to be helping me! Is this too many bananas, Emma? Oh! <laughs> Not pickles, Rob! Ick! <gasps> oh, what? Not meatballs, mangoes! No, not mangoes, meatballs! Ah! Ooh. OK, 
Okay, that isn't normal. Everything's gonna be okay, as long as we find a way to shut down the food mat. But how? If we leave here, we'll be toast. Ah! Yeah, see? Don't worry, I have an idea. The coast is clear, let's go. Okay? I'm so hungry. I can barely move. Huh? You should have some Rob surprise. Oh, why not? I'm hungry enough to eat anything right now. Mm -mm -mm. Wow! This is actually really yummy. Why was I so picky? All I needed to do was try it. It's delicious. Really? Oh, I just wish we had more of it so we could enter it in the cook-off. Huh? Ha! Now that's a Rob surprise! This is going to be a great galactic cook-off. And it's one big yummy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Only Emma wouldn't even try it. She tried to make her own meal, but we got carried away. And because of us, the machine went haywire. We finally shut it down. By then, Emma was so hungry, she agreed to try my dish. And she liked it. Sometimes it pays to keep an open mind and try new things. What a scrumptiously successful mission. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, in the water. I like him! Uh, uh, uh. Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No, he can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? 
We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy, the veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope, not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. fish at all. Somewhere. 
Hey, our new crappy friend is helping Orbit out. Huh? Same color as Stripey. In fact, it even kind of looks like his stripes. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish and they looked exactly like stripy. And Emma decided stripy would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Ocean Planet. Oh, hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're playing Rodeo Roundup. Rodeo Roundup is kind of like tag, only we're cowboys and cowgirls, and Orbit is our bull. Ooh. Let's get him! Yeehaw! And be a real cowboy for a day? And a cowgirl! Yes, sir! Hey, I reckon there's gotta be some place in the galaxy where we can do just that. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Mission 
Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can be real cowboys and cowgirls for a day. That sounds like a mighty fine mission there, folks. Okay, let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet? We want to see the Old West, not rest. <laughs> the Pirate Planet? We want to be cowgirls and cowboys, not pirates. The Old West Planet? That's a mighty fine planet for a cowpoke adventure. Yes, the Old West Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. things. Who's it from? What does it say? It's a note from the sheriff who runs this town. He had to leave for the day and he wonders if someone can take care of things while he's gone. Kind of like an honorary sheriff. You mean one of us can be sheriff for the day? I reckon that's the perfect job for me. Are you sure, Emma? Being the sheriff is a big responsibility. You have to take care of the town and make sure things get of done course and... I'm sure. I'm gonna be a great sheriff. You'll see. Make way for the sheriff! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I reckon I better figure out what needs to be done around these parts. Hmm. Fix the wagon, sweep the porch, clean the stable, and... Oh, feed the bull. Bull? Looks like a fan me a rodeo. Uh, sorry, Rob. It doesn't say anything here about riding the bull. We're supposed to feed it. And while I do that, Rob, you can sweep the porch. TK, you're good with tools. You can be the blacksmith and fix the wagon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you, Orbit, you <laughs> can clean out the stables. All right. Well, come on on, y'all. Get a move on. Better not forget to close this gate when I'm done. Huh. We don't want a bull running around the town. Easy there, big fella. <laughs> Aren't you a cute little doggy? Huh? What in blazing saddles? <laughs> wondering what all the noise was. I think I fixed the wagon. All it needed was a new wheel, which I made using some metal and these old tools. Oh, great. We should take a ride. What about our chores? Don't be silly. There's always time for a wagon ride, partner. Hop on. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we're missing something. Where's the horse to pull the wagon? We don't need a horse. You've got rocket boots, Rob. Give us a push. Giddy up. Let's get this wagon rolling, partner. <sighs> All right. Hang on. Yeehaw! <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Now, everybody, back to work. Don't worry. I'll hit 
reach up the wagon. I am the sheriff, after all. You two can finish sweeping up the town. All right. Come on, TK. Yee-haw! Give it a tie, yeah, yo! Huh? Giddy up, horsey! Wow! Where did you find these horses, Orbit? In the stable. They were just itching to go for a ride. Well, you know, as sheriff, it's my job to make sure these horses are in mighty fine shape. Yeehaw! Ride up, horses! Horses? I thought we were supposed to be doing our chores. You know, work now, play later. <laughs> Nobody tells the sheriff what to do. Unless they want my job. Are you challenging me to a duel, cowboy? I reckon I am. just too busy having fun, Emma. There's a time and place for everything. And now is the time to run! Ah! I'm okay! This hay bale broke my ball. It's a good thing. I'm so sorry, Orbit. It was all my fault. Being sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's hard work, and I wasn't very responsible. I hope it isn't too late to fix things. Of course not. And don't worry, we'll help you, right? Right! Whew! The wagon is hitched, and the town is nice and tidy. I guess the only thing left to do is to put Cuddles back in his pen. Cuddles? The bull. That's my pet name for him. He's such a cutesy little fella. Come on, Cuddles. Well, partner, I think you've truly earned that sheriff's badge today. You think so? Thanks. And we got to be cowboys and cowgirls for a day. I reckon that means this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Old West Planet, where Emma decided she wanted to be sheriff for a day. Only I was so busy having fun that I neglected to do the jobs I was supposed to do as sheriff. When things got out of hand, Emma realized being a sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's about responsibility. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? 
Of course. Is <laughs> it Wing Ting TK? Huh? Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hello again. How can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be... Uh -huh. ...shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Jonah! little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. We'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? 
We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. <sighs> I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Talking book. A Spanish talking book. Neat. What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies, usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Hmm. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun. And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Cool! Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah! You did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa, that's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. 
It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Just in time. We're just about to play a song we wrote. Come on. All right, let's get this concert started. <laughs> a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. you can use so we can keep playing? No, I'll have to fix this one. I just need the right tool. Oh, nope. Hmm, nuh -uh. uh Definitely not. I have five bazillion tools and not one of them is a whammy bar wrench. Maybe there's a planet nearby where you can borrow the right tool to fix your guitar. And we can give our other instruments a tune-up too. My drum's sounding a little glum. Yeah. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can fix TK's guitar. Well, that sounds like music to my ears. Let's see where you can go. The fruit planet? That's a good place to fix a snack, but not to fix an instrument. The magic planet? We want to put on a concert, not a magic show. Now that looks like a good place to fix an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> the repair shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Something. 
All right, T. The sooner we find a whammy bar wrench, the sooner TK can fix her guitar. And the sooner we can jam. Ooh, jam! Good idea. Anybody got any toast? <laughs> Orbit, in music, playing a song with a band is called a jam. Oh, yeah. I knew that. So, what's a whammy bar wrench look like? Hmm. Well, it's about this big, and it's totally not needed. Not when we have that tool over there. What is this? Hmm? A fix-it machine. What's a fix-it machine? It's a super tool that can fix anything. I've always wanted to try one. Sounds super. How does it work? You just bring your broken item over to it, press a button, and the machine does the rest. Here, I'll show you. Wow! Cool! Wow! Ooh. Huh? Orbit, what are you doing? Fixing all of our instruments! No, Orbit, that's too many things for it to fix all at once! Uh, that can't be good for our instruments. Oh, no. Once it starts fixing something, you can't shut it off. It machine needs fixing. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'll start by reprogramming the robot arms. It'll take a few minutes to get them working properly. A few loud minutes. Orb, are you hearing what I'm hearing? It's so musical. My microphone if I can find something else to make my voice sound louder. La 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 la. Oh! La 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 la. La 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 la. Nice! Awesome! Okay, almost done. La 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 la. Huh? Rob? Emma? Orbit? Wow! This is neat! But don't you want to play with our instruments? We do, TK, but we're finding all kinds of stuff here to make music with. Try it! It's fun! But I really wanted to play my guitar. Oh, although I guess I could make my own music maker. I think we have more than enough music makers to play our song. What do you say? Yeah! Let's jelly! I mean, jam! instruments fixed properly. 
so we'll have even more ways to make music later. And that's one big musical mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we were having a jam session when TK's guitar got broken, so we went to the repair shop planet. We tried to fix it with the fix-it machine, only we ended up breaking even more instruments. While we waited for TK to fix the fix-it machine, we realized lots of things make nifty sounds, not just musical instruments. So we used those things to play our song, and we had an awesome jam. We learned that if something makes a sound, it can also make music. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, You're just in time. Something interesting is taking shape. Come on. Oh, come on, Orbit. Let us see. Yeah, what are you making? Ta-da! It's for the Intergalactic Art Show. What do you think? Wow, a cat. Cool. I really like it. Me too. I wish I had one just like it. Really? Well, I can make you one. For real? Just like it? Sure. But how are you going to do that, Orbit? You're all out of parts. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a hardware store. They'd have parts. Or better yet, why don't we go someplace where we can make a copy of Orbit's sculpture? Yes! Yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where we can copy Orbit's sculpture. All right, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The snowy planet? But every snowflake is unique. We won't find copies of anything there. The puzzle planet? Jigsaw pieces are all different. No copies there either. <laughs> the copycat planet, a place with all kinds of copies. Perfect. The copycat planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Except this box. What do you think it is? It must be the machine that makes the copies. How do you think it works? Well, this looks like the on button. machine, all right. It made an exact copy of Orbit. But which one's the real Orbit? I am. Excuse me? You're the copy. I'm the real deal. Oh, you're real, all right. Real confused. I'm the real deal. No, you're a copycat. Stop pretending to be me in front of Rob, Emma, and TK. I'm not a copycat. I'm Orbit. And who are Rob, Emma, and TK? Aha! Uh -huh. He's the copy. Because he doesn't know who we are. Ha <laughs> ha! Told you! I'm the real deal! Guys, we came here to copy Orbit's sculpture, not Orbit. Exactly! We need to fix this. Fix this? What do you mean? Being Orbit is awesome! No way! I'm a one-of-a-kind robot. There can't be two orbits. Nuh-uh. I'm a one-of-a-kind robot. Don't be jealous. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Uh, bet you can't do everything I do. Was always makes me feel better. What am I going to do now? I'm supposed to be an exact copy. I'm sure if we work together, we can figure out how to make you orange again. You do that for me? Uh, I bet. I sure would. Uh, yes, if I have to have a copy, I'd rather you be a happy copy than a sad one. So, let's find a way to change you back. <laughs> Copy machine! It'll be great to be an exact copy again. Just like these flowers. Huh? Ah! They smell nice. Hey, how come you're not sneezing? What's sneezing? Huh? Ah! 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 Jump! <laughs> that is... Flowers always make me sneeze. Really? Weird. They don't do that to me. Ah! Sneeze! <laughs> don't worry, they're gone. Huh? How come you weren't startled? I don't know, they're just bees. Nothing to be afraid of. Really? They freak me out. Hmm, you know... I'm starting to think maybe you and I aren't exactly alike. Hey, Orbits, come quick. We figured out the copy machine. <laughs> there, we're all set. Right, TK? Looking good, Rob. All systems set to... Orange, hop on in. I think... I think I changed my mind. Huh? What's the matter, Orbit 2? Well... I know I'm supposed to be orange because I'm a copy, but I think I like being blue. I like being different. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes! Of course that's okay! <laughs> Do you know what this means? It means 
needs I'll be a one-of-a-kind robot. Yes! And I'll be a one-of-a-kind orbit again. Woohoo! But what changed your mind? I realized it wasn't so bad being different. In fact, it makes me feel kind of special. You are special. And you know, you'd be even more special if you had a unique name. Yeah. How about Tibro? Tibro? That's Orbit. Spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, do you want to come back with us, Tibro? There's room on our rocket. Thanks, but I'm going to stay with the coffee machine. Since we're both unique to this planet, we should stick together. Okay, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Goodbye, Bye, Tibro. See you soon. make you a copy of my cat sculpture. It is a good sculpture, Orbit, but why don't you make me something different instead? You know, something unique. Yeah, like Tibro and me. Hmm, I've got some clay on the rocket. Maybe I'll make a dog sculpture. Great idea, Orbit. And I think this is one unique <laughs> mission <laughs> accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> we went to the copycat planet so Orbit could make a copy of a sculpture for Emma. But instead of making a copy of the sculpture, we accidentally copied Orbit. Orbit likes being a one-of-a-kind robot. So when his copy turned blue, Orbit was really happy. But then his copy became really sad until he realized it's okay to be different. Being different and unique means being special. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, copycat planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're looking at Orbit's comic book collection. Ooh, this one's my favorite. The Adventures of Robomax. Mm, he's awesome! He's got super speed and everything, and... Hey, look! A falling star! Quick, make a wish! Aww, I missed it. Missed what, Orbit? A falling star. I didn't know stars could fall. <laughs> they can't, Emma. A falling star is a meteoroid, a ball of frozen rock that shoots through space. Mm-hmm. Some people think if you see one and make a wish, the wish will come true. Really? I want to see one so I can make a wish. Me too. Imagine if there was a place where wishes came true. Hey, maybe there is one out there somewhere in the robot galaxy. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where wishes will come true. All right. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Yay! The Sandwich Planet. A great place to make a peanut butter and salami sandwich. Ew! <laughs> but not so good for making a wish. Paint planet? That won't help us make a wish. Ooh, now that looks like a place where we can make wishes. Yes, 
the Wish Planet, where everyone gets one wish. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. To the well. Then you make your wish. Hmm. But we don't have any coins, TK. Let's see what I have. Okay, that's one, two, three, and four. Just enough for one wish each. Thanks, TK. Great! Yeah, thanks! Remember, really think about what you want to wish for so you don't waste your wish. I wish I had super speed like my hero Robomax! Huh? Awesome! Wow! Oh. It worked! Look at me! I have super speed like Robobox! Oh. Rock and Robot! Look at him go! So all we have to do is throw our coin into the wishing well, say our wish, and it comes true? Yes! Okay, okay. My turn to make a wish. I Whoa! wish, I wish I was the best dancer in the whole galaxy. Look at me! I'm the best dancer in the galaxy. You sure are, Emma. Okay, your turn, GK. What are you gonna wish for? Look at. like a statue. Oh, and I wasted my wish. I can't move. Looks like I'll have to use my wish to wish him back to normal. Emma, this is no time for dancing. Orbit's in trouble. So am I. Huh? huh? I can't stop dancing. I want to, but I can't. And I'm so tired. Help me stop. Looks like we have a new mission, TK, to help Orbit and Emma. Careful, Rob. If you use your wish to make Emma stop, she might end up frozen like Orbit. My nose is itchy. Then what are we gonna do? Orbit first. You scratch his nose. I've got an idea. Thank you. Aha! A little robot oil should loosen him up. Did it work? 
sorry, Orbit. Hmm. Now what? Uh, I'll have to use my wish. I don't know, Rob. Every wish we made turned out bad. Your wish might make things even worse. But I have to try. There's no other way. Only I have two friends to help and just one wish. So which one do you help? Emma? Please! I have to! Stop! I'm so tired! Or Orbit! I think I blinked! I blinked! Oh, I don't know. I can't decide. Orbit or Emma? Emma or Orbit? One wish! Only one wish! Uh... Uh, oh, I got it! I know what to wish for! I think... You're not sure if it'll work? No, but there's only one way to find out. I wish... I wish... We never made any wishes! Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Rob, but it is mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control. Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the wish planet so we could each make a wish. But our wishes only caused trouble. First, Orbit couldn't stop. And then he couldn't go. And Emma couldn't stop dancing. Then I wish we'd never had any wishes. And everything went back to normal. I think we all learned that we need to be careful what we wish for and to be happy with what we have. Wonderful lessons to remember, Rob. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, Pretending to be da, 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 Heracles, the ancient Greek hero. I'm stronger than a giant bull and faster than a horse. Oops. Aww. Oh, just when I was finally winning. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over your game. I was pretending to be Heracles. Who? Heracles. He was strong and brave and fast. And that made him a hero? He chased monsters. That seems pretty heroic. Hey, I'm really fast. Maybe I could be a hero. You mean a heroine. Yes! Emma the Mighty! Oh, me too. I'm not very fast, but I'm strong. See? Uh, uh, maybe I need a little practice. Maybe there's some place where we can all train to become stronger and faster. Like, what's his name? Heracles? Yeah, him. That would be awesome. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can train to be heroes, like Heracles. That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The Cake Planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake eating contest. <laughs> a pet planet? That might work. If we were training pets. <laughs> the Stadium Planet! That's perfect. It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece. Yes, the Stadium Planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. course where we'll face monsters, just like Heracles did. <laughs> the monsters? Of course. It's important for heroes like us. And heroines. And heroines to prove how brave we are. Think of this as a test. Ugh, I hate tests. I'm terrible at tests. Maybe I'll just wait in the rocket. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm Robocles, hero among friends, remember? Stick with me and you'll be fine. Aha! Run! Huh? Whoa, stuck! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe with Robocles. Come on! You're really good at this, Rob. Yes, Robocles, you're my hero. Thank you, thank you. The great Robocles at your service. Lead us to the next challenge, oh great Robocles. Look, it's a chariot race. Of course, heroes and heroines need to practice traveling with great speed. Oh, wow! Those are the coolest 
rubber chariots ever! Oh, this one is the perfect chariot for a hero like me! I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, uh, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo-chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang on! Of you. Yeah, that was amazing! I can't believe how quickly you stopped Emma's chariot. You're a big hero. Yeah! Hey, wait a minute. I thought I was a hero. You know, Robocles, a hero among friends. Oh, wait. You're right. Orbit is a hero. He was the one who helped Emma. While I was busy thinking about winning, he was helping a friend. That makes me a hero? Yes, being a hero is more than just being strong or brave or fast. You put Emma before yourself, and that makes you a real hero. And for that, we name you Brave Orbitocles, the hero of Yay! heroes. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Yes, and that means this is one big heroic mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we went to the stadium planet to train to be heroes and heroines. We lifted rocks and dodged monsters in order to be strong and brave, like Heracles. We even had a chariot race in order to be fast like Heracles. But when Orbit rescued Emma, we realized there's more to a hero than just being strong or brave or fast. A real hero puts others before him or herself. A very heroic mission indeed. I'd say it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Space Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100 meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, I, uh, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stand the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. 
What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. A spring planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Pillow planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports planet! That's perfect! Yes, the sports planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <laughs> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> left to try. the bar 
there, please? Um. Give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? Oh no, we're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. String? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh, no. Your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing, too. It's okay. I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Rocket cleanup day. Come on. See? 
We're going through our stuff, getting rid of things that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Huh, yeah, three points. I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk bugs coming through. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Orbit, I had everything neatly organized. But you bumped into me. No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK. Isn't this your favorite teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy Was. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! <laughs> yes, the junk planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robot? with a scrap metal loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! <gasps> Hi! Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. Huh? Why would 
someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed easily. Um... See, it's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these two? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled. Like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today Planet Cleanup Day! What do you think? Yes! We can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused, or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait! I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed, too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was! Oh, no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless... Oh, no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! <laughs> So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look! I think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely garbage! <sighs> wow! That was so cool! I love having an intergalactic garbage, pal! So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? Hooray! Yay! And we can do our part, too, by taking some stuff back to the rocket. Like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes, and I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? our rocket cleanup day, so we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a pogo stick. 
and we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rocks. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Junk Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's reading us a story. She was very beautiful, and her name was Cleopatra. She was a queen in ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. Back then, they called kings and queens pharaohs. What are those triangle-shaped buildings? They're called pyramids. Inside, they had secret rooms and hidden treasure, even mummies. <gasps> mummies? <laughs> Don't worry, Orbit. They're not like mummies you see in the movies. Egyptian mummies aren't scary at all. As much as I love reading about ancient Egypt, wouldn't it be fun to explore a real pyramid and see what's inside? Ooh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to explore an Egyptian pyramid. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Arr, I love Buccaneer Planet. <laughs> Me too. But I don't think pyramids were built by pirates. Theater Planet is fun. But I don't want to pretend I'm in a pyramid. I want to check one out for real. Oh, now that looks more like it. <laughs> yes, the pyramid planet is a wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. built them in pairs at the entrance to the pyramids. Look, Emma, a pyramid! Oh, cool! Let's check it out! Okay, we've seen the pyramid. <laughs> 
where the secret room is. are called hieroglyphics. It's how ancient Egyptians wrote stories using pictures instead of words. Cool. I'll say, I thought I knew everything about books, but now I'm learning about a whole new way to tell a story. Foot, squiggle, lady, mask. Hmm, what kind of story is that? Maybe it's an adventure story. That lady could be Queen Cleopatra. And that squiggle could be a hidden staircase that leads to the pyramid's secret room. Filled with treasure. <gasps> and maybe even a mummy. I've always wanted to see a real mummy. Hmm, I've got an idea. We can pretend to be a mummy and surprise Emma. This is so exciting. What if we find a mummy in here? Mummy in here? Remember what Rob said? Mummies aren't scary. Hey, you know what would be fun? Why don't we act out the story on the wall? I'll be Queen Cleopatra, and Orbit can be the mummy. <laughs> huh? Okay, fine. You can play the mummy, TK. No need to get upset. Um, Emma? That wasn't me. If it wasn't you, who was it? Mm, the mummy! <gasps> Don't be silly, Orbit. It's probably just the wind. <laughs> Besides, Mummies aren't scary, remember? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. ah! 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 <laughs> I can't wait to see their faces when they find out it's just me. Oh, this is the best joke ever. Huh? Hey! Uh, uh, oh no, it's stuck. I need some help, guys. Guys? Help me with this thing! Ah! 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 Phew, that was close. Look, the mummy's running straight towards... Huh? <gasps> we 
found the secret room and a real mummy. You were right. It's not scary. It's awesome. I thought it would be funny to pretend to be a mummy, but I guess I took it too far. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. Yeah, what they said. After all, we never would have found this room if it weren't for you, and I never would have seen a real mummy. I'd say this is another mission accomplished. Yay! Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Planet is a really cool place, ruled by kings and queens called pharaohs. We learned about the amazing things Egyptians built, like obelisks and pyramids, and a cool way of writing instead of words using pictures called hieroglyphics. I thought it would be fun to pretend to be a mummy, but I ended up really scaring everyone, which isn't fun at all. That's a lesson worth learning. Now, time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Pyramid Planet. Playing. I'm supersonic jet pilot Emma. I love airplanes. Oh, wow. Me too. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh -oh. uh -oh. Flying plane, just a toy. Now it's just a broken toy. Hmm. Don't worry, Emma. I can fix it. <laughs> you know, Emma, there's another kind of toy plane that can fly. Really? Yes. We just need some paper. Huh? Hmm. Oh no, there's none left. <laughs> oh. <sighs> That's fantastic. Huh? Huh? Getting more paper to build a cool paper airplane sounds like a great mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet, the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
amazing! Paper, flowers, and animals. Wow! Everything is origami here. So, where can we start origamiing? Right here. <gasps> Make a paper airplane. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> oh. This origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta-da! Cool! How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Emma, you need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Now, hold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect! Thanks, TK. I'm done! <gasps> I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. <gasps> Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go.
Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> Done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Robin Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm, I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Room in the 
ship for us. Hey, where's Rob? I'm coming. Whoa! Oops, I almost stepped on this little green balloon. Hey, this isn't a balloon. It's an egg. What's an egg doing just lying on the ground? Shouldn't it be up in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Bird's nests are usually up high. Aha! I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> get you back up to your nest. Whoa! Whoa. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. trunk that can help? Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like we sprung a leak. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. Why everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. 
and the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? <gasps> it's not a bird egg. It looks like we have a new mission to get this baby lizard back down where we found him. You can ride down in our balloon. No thanks, I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us too. Okay, don't forget, we have to collect all the balloons and bits so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> Okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. 
Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try a merry-go-round. Hop on, everyone. Quick, follow me. I'm the leader. Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit. It's Rob's turn. Rob's the leader. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no one ever listens to me. I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys, wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Sorry, Orbit. It's okay. Come and bounce with me. I'm the leader. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good job. Wow, that was... Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! You're just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Huh? 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Like he's everywhere. But that's impossible. 
how can Squeak be everywhere at once? Chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Cheese Planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. 